Frustrated, hurt, and scared are some of the sentiments of 27-year-old Madonna Ghani, a local model who was almost lured in a fake modeling gig by someone claiming to be a CPR representative recruiting women for his modeling agency. After several correspondence with the man, Ghani felt that something was amiss. She subsequently declined the offer and launched her own investigation into the supposed modeling scout. Ghani later aired her concerns on social media, which was widely circulated and unraveled some worrying findings. Checks on the man's Facebook accounts showed his name is Rani, the teacher. He's been going around saying he's from CPL, a part of CPL and IPC, and um, he is recruiting girls to, to do modeling. Um, you have to do a practice shoot in order to qualify for the original. Uh, whereas when you enter the original, designers from Canada will um, uh, give you their outfit to wear. You take up pictures and they put it in a magazine. Um, I reached out to designers, um, well-known designers, and they have never heard of any Canadian designers in Guyana looking for models. And they've never heard of Randy the teacher. Um, I, that's the only name I know him by, but I don't think that's his original name. Ghani was not the only one approached by Randy, as other women have allegedly sent their photos to the man with hopes of a job and a cash payment of $15,000 per shoot. He got a lot of girls. He got their half-naked pictures. I don't know what he did with them or what he does with them. Uh, he didn't get mine. I want to put that out because a lot of people was like... Um, is good for you because you encouraged him one of the models um one of the girls actually who uh sent her photo she was willing to come forward and help me but she said when she saw the comments under my life whereas people telling me that i looked for it i encouraged him so being bullied after you come forward with these yes accusations. she said um she's afraid because she said um why do it why, why why put him behind bars when people are telling you it's your fault and i it's not your fault you know you didn't ask for it he was coming under a false uh pretext saying that he's working with um uh cpl he's a part of cpl and he's uh, with ipc you know so it's nobody's fault it's he it's he he's the one who needs to to be put away she took her concerns to the police after reportedly receiving an outpouring of complaints from other women. They took my statement and they told me to come back Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, they messaged me and say come back Wednesday. Wednesday, they messaged me and say come back Thursday. Then Friday, and I went Friday. I waited almost an hour. Nobody was there. And um, I said, um, they said um, they're now leaving to go to the office. So I sent one of the girls who have a similar story with mine, who she was one of them who actually sent her photos. And um, when she went there, nobody was there. So the police is just pushing you around. Contact was made to Randy. He refutes all accusations levied against him. In fact, he's alleging that his accuser actually owes him money for clothes. I told her, leave it, leave it, if the money is an issue. Please leave it and um, just take the clothing. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to pay. This is over a month now. You understand? And because the fact that I misbehave, she's putting fake information on me and having her, com having her cousin commenting on that. According to the police, the matter is currently being investigated as they are collecting statements from other persons. While many legitimate modeling scouts do exist, one must be wary of such scams. Gracie Brown, a model and a university student of Guyana, shared some tips for aspiring models. Everybody wants to be a part and I'm not here to say that you don't have what it takes because there's room for all of us. And sometimes in that desperation, you tend to leave your common sense behind and drop your guard and, you know, trust these scammers. But to avoid doing so, you must think critically all the time. You must be analytic of who uh, approaches you, uh, who uh, pretends or who claims to be part of some agency or manager of an agency. Um, if you know, if you have a friend, first of all, if you have a friend 
who is in the industry you should find out from that friend what are the procedures to get in who are the the main um agencies of guyana gandhi is determined to not allow other women to fall prey of such scammers as she'll be teaming up with other persons overseas to receive justice and bring awareness to this matter someone from uh, trinidad who's living in trinidad and america um, he's a born Guyanese. He's an advocate in Trinidad. He's um, fighting for um, cases with rape cases and stuff. Mm -hmm. He messaged me and he said he's going to try to get a team to come down to Ghana to help me. And that would be so good. So I, I hope that people from Guyana who is in Guyana come out and help me as well. For Headline News, Esther Sobers.